good morning students uh, so let us uh, continue with our uh, second chapter quadratic equation uh, revision so yesterday uh, the starting we saw and how to find the uh, a value b value c value from the given quadratic equation and uh, what else we saw yes this also we learned and uh, yeah third one mm -hmm. this uh, fourth uh, sum also we learned this x x plus 4 and x minus 1 when they give in this way how to convert into standard form and how to find a b c that also we learned yesterday yes today we will see about see to find the value of discriminant okay it is not it is not the determinant so determinant we learned in first chapter now it is in the in discriminant okay so when i tell discriminant you you have to remember uh, that symbol delta symbol okay yes now you see the one sum uh, sum is given here find the value of the discriminant for the quadratic equation x square plus 7x minus 1 equal to 0 okay so we have to find the value of the discriminant so for that what we have to do first you write the uh, equation write down the uh, given uh, quadratic equation x square plus 7x minus 1 equal to 0 and then the next step you write uh, what is the value of a b and c so here you know the x square coefficient is 1 so a value will be 1 and the x coefficient is 7 so the b value will be 7 and c equal to what is the constant uh, c value here minus 1 okay so the equation uh, has been written and the value also we have written and then formula okay so you know to find the discriminant what is the formula delta equal to b square minus 4ac okay so this formula you write and you mention here formula write here formula okay so for uh, uh, above average students or uh, those who are uh, those who want to uh, score uh, high marks please you note all these things okay all these points this formula uh, you have to write over here hmm? then what you have to do substitute here b square is there no so what is b value 7 so 7 you substitute over here so 7 square minus minus this 4 you write as it is 4 and what is the a value? A value is here 1. So you write here 1. And the c value is how much? Minus 1. So you write here minus 1. Understood? So into into also you can write. Uh, if I put here into, it's look like a x. That's why I have put inside the bracket. Okay, students? Yes. Now what you have to do? Next uh, step, 7 square. 7 square means what? 7 7 is 49. Minus into minus becomes plus. So how you will get 49? Minus into minus becomes plus. Four ones are four and four ones are four. So you are getting here four. And now you add these two numbers. So how much you will get? 49 plus four, you will be getting 53. So delta value 53 you are getting. Clear children? So this will uh, this equation you will uh, get for one mark. Hmm? Uh, so you have to write down the given quadratic equation and then write the values, then formula, then substitution, then you will get the answer. Is it clear, children? Yes. Next one you will see. Find the value of the discriminant for the quadratic equation 3x square minus 10x plus 3 equal to 0. So this also same thing. We have to find the discriminant only, but a different sum is given. See, I have written down the sum uh, equation. 3x square minus 10x plus 3 equal to 0. What is the next uh, step? Yes, we have to write the a value, b value, and c value. So what will be the a value? 3. Yes. What will be the b value? minus 10 and what is c value 3 okay so that one you have to write and what's the next step 
we have to write the formula delta equal to b square minus 4ac. And now you substitute it. See, b equal to minus 10, no? So b square means it is minus 10 the whole square. Clear, children? Minus 10 the whole square. Then minus, minus 4. And what is the a value here? A value is 3 and C value also 3. So A value uh, you substitute here 3 and C value you substitute here 3. Okay, students. Now, minus 10 the whole square. When we are taking the uh, square, the minus will become plus, minus into minus, plus. So 10 into 10, how much you will get? 100. And only one minus sign is there. So you write minus sign as it is. Uh, 4 3 is a 12. 12 3 is a 36. Okay, and then 100 minus 36, how much you will get? 64, so the delta value is 64. So like this, if you solve no children, so one mark you will get for this sum. Clear? Now, we'll go to the next sum. Yes. Now you see, find the value of the discriminant for the quadratic equation 2x square plus 5 root 3x plus 6 equal to 0. So it is not a normal number. Uh, it's a number little different, you know. So uh, when they give in this way, how we can do this? The same way only, write down the given equation 2x square plus 5 root 3x plus 6 equal to 0. Now what we have to do? We have to write the a value b value and c value. So what is the a value here? a value is 2. And uh, what is b value? The coefficient of x. So here 5 root 3 is the coefficient. So you got right to 5 root 3 and c value is 6. See here. It is written, no? So a is 2, b is 5 root 3 and c is 6. Clear children? Now write the formula. Now write the formula. Then what you have to do? Substitute it. Okay. See, b square. What is b value? 5, 3. Hello? Yes. Uh, my voice is audible, sir. Yes, ma'am, it is audible. You can continue. Okay. Yes. Now listen here, children. Uh, 5 root 3 into 5 root 3. So what's the answer we will get? See, 5 into 5, first you multiply this one. 5 into 5, how much you will get? 25 into root 3 into root 3, how much? Root 3 into root 3. Direct 3, uh, if I write, means you will understand or what? See, root 3 into root 3, how much you will get? Root 9. Okay, root 3 into uh, root 3, you will... You will get root 9. That means how much you will get, children? What is the square root of 9? Three. Okay, so 25 into 3 we will write. Understood? So 5 into 5, 
5 into 5, 25. Root 3 into root 3, how much you will get? 3. So 25 into 3, we have to do it like that. See, 25 into 3, I have written here. So I think you will understand now. Okay, 25 into 3 minus 4, 2s are 8, 8, 6 are 48. Clear, children? So here only you have to uh, give the concentration over here. 5 root 3, the whole square comes means uh, this multiplication, do it properly. Don't do any mistakes over here. Clear, students? Yes. Then we'll go to the next one. Yes. Based on this only, see, to find the nature of the root, what after finding the discriminant, what we have to do? We have to find the nature of the root. So how we can do that? Yes. First, you uh, observe this uh, equation. Determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation 3x square minus 5x plus 7 equal to 0 from their discriminant. From their discriminant. So when you see this discriminant immediately, first you find the value of the discriminant. How we did previously, no? Previously, three sums we did. So like that, uh, you have to find the discriminant first, and then you have to write the nature of the root. Based on the value of the delta, that is value of the discriminant, we have to write the nature of the root. Is it clear, children? So write the uh, equation first, and then write the value of A, B, C. What is A value three, B value, minus 5 and c value 7 yes and then write the formula delta equal to b square minus 4ac then substitute it minus 5 minus 5 the whole square minus write 4 as it is and uh, substitute for a as 3 and substitute for c what is the value here 7 and then minus into minus become plus, 5 5s are 25. Then minus you write here, and 4 3s are 12. 12 into 7, 84. Okay? Yes. Now, it's a different sign. Uh, so uh, minus it and put the greater number sign. So how much you will get? Delta equal to minus 59. Is it clear, children? So this much you know how to do. Because just now we uh, did the revision bit. So delta equal to minus 59. Now you see this delta value in negative. Delta value in negative. So how we can conclude that? So here, delta is less than zero. So negative means what? Always that number is less than zero. Is it clear, children? So uh, in the beginning, uh, while I'm starting this uh, chapter, I gave you all the nature of the root. If the delta is greater than zero, then nature is real and unequal. When the delta value, that means delta is equal to zero, the nature is uh, real and equal. If the delta value is less than zero, that means in negative, if we get means, what will be the nature? The nature of the root, that means the roots are not real. Okay, so what you have to uh, write, therefore, the roots are not real. Understood, children? So up till here, one mark you will get. If you write these two steps, for this half mark, for this half mark, so you will get one more mark here. So if they ask the nature of the root, then you will get two marks for this question. Is it clear, children? Okay. So nothing, only two steps are extra. That means you have to write the nature. Is it clear, children? Yes. Now we'll go to the next sum. Determine the nature of the root of the quadratic equation from their discriminant. Same like previous sum only. So we, we will uh, practice one more sum. Yes. Write this 3y square plus 9y plus 4 equal to 0. Here all the signs are in plus. And write the a value, b value, c value. 
as 3, 9, 4 respectively. I have written over here, yes. And now write the formula, delta equal to B square minus 4AC. And then delta equal to, in this uh, B, a value is, uh, Nine, uh, 9 value is given. So right here, 9 minus 9 square, it will become then minus 4. Then A value is 3, substitute here. C value 4, substitute here. And uh, what answer you will get, children? 9 nines are 9 nines are 81 minus 4 threes are 12. 12 fours are 48. Okay, 81 minus 48. So it's a different sign minus it. So you will get 33. So delta value is how much? 33. Now you see delta equal to 33 means, and uh, now we have to write the nature. So we found the value of the delta, that means value of the discriminant. Now we have to uh, find the uh, nature of the root. So delta value is in positive. That means how we can write here, the delta is greater than zero. Delta is greater than zero. Clear, children? And then how we can write, therefore, the roots are real and unequal. Understood, children? So like this type of question comes means don't leave it. Do it and a full two marks you can score easily. Clear, children? We'll go to the next sum. To form the quadratic equation. So, so far, what we have seen, how to find the value of the discriminant and how to find the nature of the root or how to write the nature of the root. Okay. Now, next one, we will see to form the quadratic equation. So, so far, uh, means the two methods, you, you might have learned all those things, uh, that factorization method and formula method. We used to find the roots or else we used to find the solutions for that, okay? But here, they will give the root or they will give the solution. From that, we have to frame the quadratic equation or we have to form the quadratic equations. Is it clear, children? See, now the question is given. Write the quadratic equation. Uh, sometimes in this place, right place, form the quadratic equation uh, or else frame the quadratic equation. So like that, any uh, term they can use over here, okay? Write the quadratic equation whose roots are three and eight. So roots they have given as three and eight. So what we are going to do children here, we are going to let the root as alpha and beta, okay? So we will take this the three as alpha and this eight as beta. So let alpha equal to three and beta equal to eight. This alpha and beta is nothing but just for the root sake, we are letting it. Okay, clear children? Alpha equal to three and beta equal to eight. Now you see, what is the next one? To frame the quadratic equation, we need sum of the roots and the product of the roots. So sum of the roots means what? Alpha plus beta. Product means what? Alpha into beta. Is it clear children? Okay. So for alpha plus beta, how I can write for alpha, I have substituted here three value, then plus, it is in the question only, you write a plus. And uh, what is uh, here, beta value, eight, substitute here eight. Okay, children, now three plus eight, how much you will get? Yes, alpha plus beta equal to 11 yard. And what we have to do the next one, we have to find the value of alpha into beta. So alpha into beta, alpha value three I have written here into beta value eight. Now you multiply, how much you will get? Three eights are? Yes, so alpha into beta equal to 24. Clear children? Yes, so now you got alpha plus beta, alpha into beta. Now what you have to do? We have x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta equal to zero. This is the formula. You have to buy out this formula. Okay, children. So once you know this formula, and now just you substitute these two values. So you will get the quadratic equation. Is it clear, children? Okay. So x square already is here. Minus, here always minus comes. 
in the uh, formula, the first sign is minus, the second sign is plus. Okay, don't do the mistake over here. Hmm? Then x square minus, see here, alpha plus beta is here. So in this alpha plus beta place, what I can write here? 11. 11 I can write. And then plus alpha into beta. This place, uh, what we can substitute? 24. So how I will get? I will get like this. See, x square minus alpha plus beta 11 I have written. This x has come over here. So 11 into x, 11x. Okay. Then plus I have written like that only. Alpha into beta. How much you will get here? 24. Clear children? Equal to 0. Now you got the uh, quadratic equation. Degree is 2. Okay. A is not equal to 0. Clear children? Yes. So this also you will get for 2 marks. Sometime uh, 2 marks they will ask a little uh, but difficult uh, uh, means a number. If they give here means a negative sign or some third form like that. If they give means then, then they can ask for 3 marks also. Okay. But 2 marks surely you will get for this. Is it clear children? Uh, for this half mark, for alpha into beta half mark, formula half mark, and then this answer half mark. So uh, two marks you will get for this. Is it clear, children? Yes. We'll do uh, one more sum like this. See, write the quadratic equation whose roots are minus two and minus five. So the first we saw both the signs are in, I mean, both the numbers signs are in plus. Now, both the numbers signs are in minus. Okay, so whenever minus comes, no, we have to be very careful while solving the sums. Yes, here also see, you let this uh, minus 2 as alpha, see here, and this minus 5 as beta. Beta equal to minus 5. Is it clear, children? And then, see, what we are supposed to find out first, alpha plus beta equal to minus 2, you write as it is. Because here plus is there. So I'm writing plus over here. And instead of uh, beta, I'm substituting here minus 5. Because two signs are next to next, no? So that's why I have put in the bracket. Clear, children? So now you see. Alpha plus beta equal to minus 2 as it is you write. Plus into minus, minus. You write uh, 5 over here. Clear, children? Now you see same sign. What do you have to do? Add and put the same sign. So minus 2, minus 5. How much you will get? Minus 7. So alpha plus beta value we got as minus 7. Clear, children? And what about the next one? Alpha into beta. See here, alpha into beta you have to find equal to minus 2. You write the value for alpha and to minus 5 for beta. So minus into minus what will become? Plus Two fives are how much? 10. Okay, so alpha into beta, you will get 10. So alpha plus beta we got, and alpha into beta also we got. Clear, children? Yes. What's the next step? Write the formula. We have x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta equal to 0. Now substitute it. See, x square I have written like that. Minus. This alpha plus beta, what value I have substituted here? Minus 7, x into x plus alpha into beta, value is 10. So I have substituted here. But what's the thing here? Minus 7 is there. So what we have to do? Uh, multiply this minus. Minus into minus becomes plus. So what you are getting? x square plus 7x plus 10 equal to 0. Understood, children? Yes. So here for this half, this half, and this half mark you will get. The last answer you will get half mark. So two marks you will get the uh, two marks you will get for this sum. Okay. Then now you see the next one. Yes. The same. Uh, write the quadratic equation only. But here zero and four is asked. Okay. Zero and four is given. So what you have to do? Alpha will be zero and beta will be four. Alpha zero and beta will be four. First, you find the alpha plus beta. So that means 0 plus 4. So alpha plus beta, how much you will get? 4 you will get. Is it clear, children? And then next one, alpha into beta you find out. That means 0 into 4. So you'll get to be 0. You'll be getting 0. And next, write the formula. 
x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta equal to zero. Okay. And then next, what you can do? Substitute here x square minus alpha plus beta, or two you can write over here, children. Four I can substitute. So directly four into x, four, four x I can write. Then plus alpha into beta, they have uh, given, I mean, we got the answer as zero. So I have substituted here zero. So you can write one more step, children, here by uh, uh, leaving this zero, you can write over, rewrite over uh, like this x square minus 4x equal to zero. That means a value will be one, b value will be minus four, c value will be zero. Is it clear, children? So to frame the quadratic equation or to uh, form the quadratic equation, there are three different ways I showed you. Okay, so uh, please you practice on these uh, sums. Uh, so you can score uh, two marks very easily. Clear, children? Next one. To find the roots, okay, to find the roots. Write the roots of the quadratic equation x plus y into x minus, uh, sorry, x plus six into x minus three equal to, uh, zero has come over here. Actually, it has to come here, okay. Uh, so x plus six into x minus three equal to zero. Okay, students. So for one more question, they used to ask like this. This is nothing but it's a uh, part of your factorization method. Can you remember children factorization method the, uh, uh, from last third step, you, you will get like this way only. Okay, and then easily you can find the roots. Is it clear children solution you will find. So what they will ask, they will give only this much, I mean, equal to zero, and they will ask you to find out roots, okay? So it is, uh, uh, they will be asking for one mark for this sum. They will give one mark for this. Is it clear, children? So how to do x plus six into x minus three equal to zero? So what will do the next step? The each term will equate to zero, okay? So how we can write here, x plus six equal to zero are, x minus three equal to zero. So what will the next step? x equal to this plus six goes to the other side, it will become minus six. Or x equal to this minus three will go to the other side, it becomes plus three. Clear children? This plus six become minus six and a minus three become three. So this will be your roots. Therefore the roots are minus six or three, or you can write minus six, and three are the roots of the given quadratic equation. Is it clear, children? So for one mark, they used to ask this question. Uh, one board exam, they have asked in this way. Clear, children? Yes. So what will be the next sum see? Write the roots of the quadratic equation, x minus three into x minus four equal to zero. Write the equation first. Now you understood, no, children? So what will be the next step? Yes, so you have to uh, equate each term to the uh, to zero. So x minus three equal to zero or x minus four equal to zero. So what's the next answer you will get? x equal to plus three or x equal to this minus four comes to the other side, it becomes plus four. So x equal to four. Is it clear children? So you'll be getting uh, three and four as the roots of the quadratic equation. Clear children? So this is one mark. And then next one we'll see. Yes. So one time uh, in the board exam, they asked to find the value of b square minus 40. Uh, it's not a, uh, a discriminant, just the values they have. They will give a value, b value, c value. And they will ask you to find out b square minus 40. C. Actually, where we use this one, can you remember children? Where we use this b square minus 48 we have to? In the formula method. Okay, formula method, inside the square root, this b square minus 48 we have in the formula. Okay, so there we used to uh, use this b square minus 48. We used to find this value first uh, while doing the uh, formula method. Okay, so, so like this one mark also they can ask. See. How the question will be if a equal to 2, b equal to minus 11, c equal to 15, then find the value of b square minus 48. 
and find the value of b square minus 4 years. What you have to do? Write this b square minus 4 years, uh, right? Okay, write the values first. A value, B e value, C value. And then you write B square minus 4 years, right over here. Equal to, then what we have to do? This minus 11 is very much than that is the B value. So you substitute here minus 11. The whole square, what is the sign here? Minus 4 into, what is the A value? A value is 2. And the C value is how much? 15. We substitute. Okay, students. And now, what's the next step? This uh, minus 11 the whole square, minus 11 into minus 11, how much you will get? 100 plus 121, then minus 4 to 8, 8 into 15, so you will be getting 120. And when you minus 121 minus 120, how much you will get? Today? So you will get the d square minus 4 j c value as one. This is not the discriminant. This is not the discriminant. We are finding the purpose of. Uh, we are finding for um, formula method then. Is it clear, children? Okay, this is a part of the formula method. So this part also they can ask for. Is it clear? Okay, so one more sum I have given here. See, A equal to 2, B equal to minus 8, C equal to 8. You do and see, children, if your notebook is with you, just to do and see, just to check it. Before I uh, uh, tell the answer, uh, you are able to tell the answer what you see. This is the value 2 minus 8, 8. And then you have to find the b square minus 4 years. Okay, yes, b square minus 4 years equal to, write this value minus 8 the whole square minus this minus sign 4 into. What is the A value? Here 2 will come and C value uh, you will be writing over here 8. Okay. Then what the next is the uh, next is here? minus 8 into minus 8 plus 64 minus your right hand is 4 2 is 8. 8 into 8 is 64. So 64 minus 64. How much you will get children? Yes. It is 0. B square minus 4 is equal to 0. Clear children? Yes. Then Okay. This is the three mark question. Find the k value when the root is given. Sometimes two marks they can ask, uh, otherwise three marks also they will ask. Hmm? So how we have to do the listen here, children? What is the value of k if three is root? So one of the root is given of the quadratic equation of the equation k x square minus seven x plus 3 equal to 0. Clear children? So we have to find this k value. This unknown value we have to find. It. Okay? Yes. What I will be writing? I write the equation as it is first. And then this 3 is what children? x equal to 3. Okay? So put x equal to 3. So wherever x comes, you uh, substitute there 3. Okay student? Substitution if you know, then this type of sums are very Easy simplification by doing the simplification, you have to be very careful. Now you see k I have written here. Instead of this x square, I have substituted this 3. 3 square minus this 7 I have done as it is. Here, this x place, what I have substituted here, 3 I have substituted. Then what sign is here? Plus, I have put the plus sign. Then 3 is there. I have done here. Clear, children? Yes. Now you have to uh, write the next step. What is the next step? 3, 3 is a 9. Will come. Yes. K, you write as it is. 3, 3 is a 9. Minus, you write as it is. 7, 3 is a 21. Plus 3, you write over. Clear, children? Yes. So what will be the next step? Say K into 9. That means 9K you will get. Then minus 21 plus 3. That means a different sign. What we have to do? Minus it. So 21, 3 goes means how much? Is that? 18. Okay. So the greater number sign is minus. So 9k minus 18 is equal to 0. 
Okay, so our aim is to find the k value. So keep this k this side, nine k r, nine k you keep it this side, and minus eighteen you take it uh, take to the other. Side. So minus eighteen comes to the other side, it becomes plus. So plus eighteen. So therefore k equal to eighteen divided by this nine. Okay, nine comes in the denominator. So nine how many times it goes, children? Two times. So what is k value? So this is two marks or three marks. They will be asking this question. Clear, children? It's easy only, no? You can do this. Okay. So this uh, number, no? This uh, root x equal to three a plus me i plus me i na uh, negative me. That means minus sign me. Maybe ask it. Uh, it will come in the minus sign also, and also in the fraction form. Okay. They will give the root in fraction form also. Okay. Yes. See the next one we will see. Yes. See here also it is in the plus only given. Find the value of k if one of the root of the quadratic equation is given. X square minus k is plus twelve equal to zero. So what is the difference between the previous sum and this sum, the student? Previous sum k was here in the first um, uh, term. Okay, first term. But here the k is in the second term. Okay, children. So the net is only this difference is here. So if it comes in the second term, so your simplification you have to be very good. So what you have to substitute over here? Three. Wherever x comes, we have to substitute three. The x value you write here three, three is five minus you write k as it is, and the x value you substitute three and plus twelve you write. It. So three three is a nine minus three into k three k plus two. Okay, students. So what's the next step we will get? So minus three k. Uh, okay. So here the student here uh, minus is left. Huh? See here. So minus three k you write here minus three k and plus twelve. Plus nine. How much you will get? Twelve plus nine. How much you will get? Yes, twenty-one. So what the sign you will get? Children? Plus only you will get. Okay, plus twenty. Minus three k plus twenty-one equal to zero. So what will be the next step? Yes. So here minus three k equal to this plus twenty-one comes to be this side. You will get the minus twenty. Clear, children? Minus three k equal to minus twenty one. So this minus minus gets cancelled. Is it clear, children? This side also minus. This side also minus. So a uh, this two minus will get cancelled. So what you will be getting? Uh, k equal to uh, this twenty one. You write here and uh, bring this three in the denominator, and then you will get how many times it goes, children? Seven times it goes. So k equal to seven. Clear, children? Okay. So here the uh, minus sign is left out. So just you see. Yes. So we'll go to the next one. Yes. Now you see. Find the value of x if one of the root of the quadratic equation six p square plus five p plus k equal to zero is Minus three upon two. So here in the fraction form it is given. Okay, minus three upon two. So if they give in this, so how we can simplify this? How we will substitute it? Six p square minus five p plus k equal to zero. I have written the equation like that. And here p is there, no? Our variable is p. That that's why I have taken here p equal to minus three upon two. P equal to minus three upon two. Clear, children? Yes. See the next one. What do we have to do? Wherever p comes, we have to substitute this minus three upon two. See, I have written the six as it is. P square plus what I have written minus three upon two uh, whole square. Okay, then plus five I have written. Then p in in place um, in place of p I have substituted minus three upon two plus k I have written equal to z. Clear, children? Now here it is square given, no? So first you simplify this one. 
So minus three into minus three, how much you will get, children? Minus three into minus three, uh, three threes are nine. Minus two minus plus you will get. So nine I got over here, and then two is there, no? So two twos are how much you will get, children? Here four. Is it clear? Then you see here minus sign is there, here plus sign is there. So multiply that plus it to minus, it becomes minus. Now, uh, you know, no, this uh, fraction multiplication, how, how to do? See, this the five is here means denominator also one is there. So numerator with numerator you multiply, denominator with denominator you multiply. Clear, children? Yes, five into three, 15. Here two ones are two units. Clear children, this 5 you multiply inside, so it will go to the numerator. 5 threes are 15 and uh, upon 2. Clear? Then plus k equal to 0. This step you understood, children? How this minus come? K plus into minus, minus. 5 threes are 15. This 2 you write as. Clear? Yes. Now, next step you see. Now what you can do, this 4 and this 6 you can cancel with the second table. So this is 3 times it goes and here is 2 times it goes. Clear children? So what you will get here? 3 I will get over here and 9 is here, 9 it will be here and here this 2 will come over. Clear children? 6 and 4 I can cancel it. That's why I got here 3. And here two. Then write this minus sign here. Then 15 upon 2, you write as it is. Then k equal to 0. Understood? Now you see the denominator came uh, equal number. Okay, okay. We'll see the next step also. See now uh, outside the bracket, one number is there. No, so bring that one inside. Okay, so three lines are how much? 27. You write this two as it is. Three lines are 27. Write the uh, write, uh, denominator value as it is. Minus, this one also write as it is. Plus k equal to z. Clear children? And then, what we'll do next one? See, you know, uh, this is a fraction, uh, my, uh, subtraction, you know. Okay, see, it's a common, it will come. And 27 minus 15 here. I have written plus k equal to 0. Okay, students. Now, 27 minus 15, how much? 12, okay, upon 2 plus k equal to 0. Is it clear, children? 12 upon 2 plus k equal to 0. So here also, what we can do? This 2, one time it goes. The 6, how many times it goes, children? 6, uh, sorry, this 12, how many times it goes? 6 times. So what we, will, we can get over here? 6 plus k. Understood? 6 plus k equal to 0. Actually, what's our aim? What we're supposed to find out here? K value. So, therefore, k equal to this plus 6 comes to the other side, which becomes minus. So, k equal to minus 6. It's clear, children? Okay. Say nothing. Uh, don't get panic. So, it's not that much difficult. Only after substituting, you know, this... Uh, a simplification, you have to be very careful. Okay, students, see, you have to write the uh, equation first and then put the P equal to minus 3 upon 2. And uh, uh, wherever P is there, you are substituting over here. Okay. And then you are simplifying here. So here 6 we are getting, here 9, and here 4. So the 6 and 4 get cancelled. So 3 and 2 I am getting. And this 3 will multiply, will be multiplying the 3 inside. So 27 upon 2 we are getting. Here also, uh, this uh, plus into minus minus will come. Multiply inside, 15 will come here. So at last, take the common here. That means uh, minus 6, you will get the answer. It's yes, a k equal to minus 6. Clear, children? Clear? Okay, so like this, the two more sums also is there. Uh, one is from textbook and one they have asked in the board exam. Okay, so that also uh, I have solved in next. Okay, yeah, and now time of uh, students. If anyone have doubt, you can ask me. Based on this, whatever you learned today, if you have any doubt, you can ask me.
Ask friend, any doubt? Any doubt? You can raise your hand. Okay, ma'am. We don't have any doubt. We'll wind up. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.